he was really one of the leaders of the school of uh, interventionist policy, which was it meant that uh, the United States had a special role in the world, that we were there as a responsible actor to try and keep the peace globally. And uh, America, the United States, has been retreating from that ideal, and he has been reinforcing it in his last days. I mean, he's really made a point of it. I think he was underappreciated in Arizona, I think uh, because he was more of a global figure. He belonged to the world. Uh, he was highly regarded in foreign policy circles because he knew so much about the world and had a great understanding of foreign policy. I think what will stand out to me is the, the, the most important memory in my mind of him will be his last visit with the Arizona Republic because it came only weeks after a, a catastrophic uh, diagnosis that he had this um, you know, brain cancer, and that he was given a 4% chance of survival. And when he came in, he was nothing but serene. He was making jokes, he was his same old self. He was interacting with all of us, um, enjoying the moment, and utterly at peace. And I'll never forget that about him. And I think a lot of that has to do because he's lived on the knife's edge for so many years. The USS Forrestal is an aircraft carrier. In 1967, it was in the Tonkin Gulf and uh, Vietnam War. McCain is a pilot aboard it in his plane. And there's an electrical discharge, an accidental, sets off a missile. A missile goes flying from one uh, jet and hits another one right near McCain. McCain's in the cockpit of his jet Everything catches on fire around him. He barely gets out of his plane. Uh, he's surrounded by flames. He climbs down a fueling mechanism of the, the aircraft itself, and he's able to get away, and he starts running away, and a bomb goes off, and it, the, the force of it just <laughs> throws him. He's injured in this, and uh, this fire engulfs this aircraft carrier, and it's catastrophic. I mean, there's a, a, dozens of men who are part of the fire crew of the Forrestal are running to put this fire out. A bomb goes off, they're all vaporized. They're gone, they die. 134 men die, 161 are injured, including McCain. If, if that had happened to most of us, that would be the lead in the story of our lives. And it's a footnote in McCain's life, and it, so it tells you something about him.